It's always my answer when asked how I develop a collection. I do always say the words, I use a blank sheet of paper and a pencil and respond to the many voices in my head. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking outside the box is one way to describe how I approach things. In order to think outside the box, you must remember that the box still exists. I'm always looking to futurism and embracing like science fiction in the aesthetic of my work. Cylonitron, Autumn Winter 10, I embraced the plot structure of Battlestar Galactica. When I first started this collaboration, Reeves sent me some paper. It was like God's gift. And it really lent itself well to what I was working on at the time. I'm known for my origami folds in the dresses. And with this Reeves paper, I did manipulate certain origami folds and twists for a samurai waistcoat. Such high quality, I was manipulating it days on end to create something, and it still maintained its structure. I always look back and analyze what I've done, like the bracelets, for example. I ended up using a particular texture, and then a month later, I had all these samples from Reaps. I came across one, and I'm like, wow, that would have been perfect, damn. The advice is to really go with your intuition. There's so much that you can use, but it's all within your experience. I'm not really in this field of work to be remembered as a designer. I'd rather people remember the designs and, and the hard work that we've done to create these designs. I prefer to be like the Wizard of Oz, the man behind the curtain. <laughs>